Yo, hello and welcome back to another special Super Auto Pets episode where we are playing that tournament. If you haven't seen the first match, you can check it out in the top right corner if I don't forget to link it. And yeah, this tournament, as I said, is a best of three. I lost the first match against a very, very talented player. So I'm advancing into the loser's bracket. And there I am playing against a really nice guy, also a best of three. And the winner of this match is advancing to the top 16, which is happening tomorrow from my point of view. So yeah, okay, and he has fittingly named that lobby. Good luck, have fun. And we are in, and obviously we are looking for ducks here. Do we find any ducks? Yeah, we find exactly one. And we are really curious, or I was really curious if, to, to see if my opponent actually is also playing ducks or if he is playing something else. And turns out he is also playing ducks. <laughs> so yeah, this is obviously a draw. And our quest is to find more ducks, as many ducks as possible. There is one, beautiful, and we can freeze that one. And yeah, that's about it. Okay, how many ducks has he found? I think it's, yeah, it's free. And he has, I think, buffed a duck uh, with um, with a with a with an otter, which I didn't actually catch, and I was so confused by why that one duck had. Uh, dude, we oh, dude, this is such a, <laughs> this is so lucky again. <laughs> but I was really confused why that one duck. Wait, let me let me do that here. That one duck ha was a two one, and I was I didn't really pay attention to that fight because I knew I was losing this, but I was so confused by that <laughs> why that one duck had one stats instead of one two <laughs> but he probably he probably bought a uh, bought an otter to be able to win probably so yeah um this is undeserved luck on my end here pretty stupid luck i must say <laughs> and let's see has he sold all his ducks yes he did and in my eyes uh he did this to yeah, to red and swan, that's a bit weird. I'm kind of happy about that, I think, because that red is, like, really hurting him. And yeah, I'm I'm, I'm rerunning here to see if we can hit anything else, uh, a, a different, a better third unit, basically. Which we don't really... I mean, that, okay, that third dodo is clutch. But yeah, the question was here, what unit do I really want to find in the third slot so i think it's fine in this kind of situation to actually spend like two or three gold to find an, a proper unit i obviously did a mistake by not doing that from the from the get-go but this is fine honestly this is absolutely okay and yeah we are winning because of the dirty red i'm really happy about that obviously we are picking up that dodo and yeah, this is spooky. <laughs> I almost I almost uh, combined that dodo. <laughs> you definitely don't want to do that. And yeah, that buff actually hit that 2-4. And I am picking up a giraffe. So our escalator can actually work again. Uh, so that escalator being uh, the last dodo needs to be the strongest one. So the order of triggers at the start of the turn is actually guaranteed from left to right. Right? So... That dodo with 6-8 is, yeah, gets triggered first, will buff that middle dodo, that middle dodo then will buff the, the most right one dodo, and that one will then, in turn, will buff the flamingo. Um, I'm waiting on him. Nice, okay. We are in the fight, and we are going to, yeah, trade against that rat. The giraffe on my end, by the way, is obviously only there for one round because I really hate Giraffe. I think it's a really bad unit. But in this case, it could or it did uh, ensure that the Escalator uh, is actually working properly. So yeah, we found Turtles, which is actually, actually amazing. Oh, I can't speak English today. Um, I did choose to not pick up that second Turtle and now I'm freezing this one. Okay, uh, that's obviously a mistake by me. Um, and yes, with so many turtles, I am thinking of running turtle 2. Turtle in front of Badger, which is in front of a strong Dodo, which 
like in this case is pretty amazing because that badger will have uh, obviously high stats will attack once trade the melon and then will attack another time and then will shoot his damage as the effect so this is kind of busted but if i actually be able if i'm actually be able to pick up a turtle 2 here you can ensure something else gets melon early on and usually that's not a dodo but something else which we didn't find yet okay let's see what my opponent did he yeah he went he went dark uh obviously yeah also before already but also dodo here so he has found a dodo i don't I don't, I don't know if he had that dodo last turn already but interesting to see i with my three dodos kind of dictate how this will play out i think so fuck that badger obviously that rooster is really good and now that turtle is also really good okay let's see here yeah he also find a rooster and his dodo is a 9-9 which is actually kind of spooky and i so far didn't manage to buff up my dodo so we are winning here and he has only four hp left and i'm feeling kind of kind of good about that but our dodo is not that huge yet. So, okay. We combined that. Was this a mistake? This is the first time I'm thinking about that. Is this a mistake? Honestly, I really don't know. This could be a mistake. But I'm picking up Rhino here. And realizing that this was not the smartest play. <laughs> that dolphin can actually do a lot, I think. I think in that situation I actually did go back and watched how this yeah the last match turned out. So that dolphin will kill the rooster, which is absolutely beautiful. This is exactly what I wanna do. That monkey will help the rhino. And prob and yeah, I think I never had a match where I so strongly build up an opinion about one unit. And this unit is the Rhino. At the end of this match, I'm having a very specific opinion about that unit. <laughs> but we will see. This will come in in a second. Okay, so we are going in. The Dodo on level 2 on our side is beautiful. That Dolphin shoots the, shoots the Rooster. Absolutely amazing stuff. We are able to trade beautifully, although that kind of hurt. But we are winning this. That guy is on one HP. We honestly only need to, yeah, like win one round and we are kind of ahead here. These milks are pretty, pretty good as well. Definitely going to pick these up. Not sure what I am thinking about here because none of these in the shop are really that good. Maybe monkey, maybe, maybe we can pick up monkey again. But we definitely needed to sell the monkey here the, the, after the last turn or at the beginning of this the beginning of this shop phase to make space for the cow because I want to keep the dolphin to yeah be dangerous for him because he has to play around dolphin now and I want to keep that on the board just in case he don't play plays around because if he doesn't play around I basically won because that dolphin will shoot the turkey if he don't, doesn't do anything about it. There's another rhino though. Yeah, I'm seeing that <laughs> lucky. Luckily, um, yeah, that chocolate. I'm running four, four units this turn. There is a snake. I, I, I kind of think the snake is really interesting. You could actually run snake here. And let's go in. That Rhino will lose badly against that dog. And he actually did play around my Dolphin. This was pretty pretty smart by him. And this is going to be a draw. This was really, really close. And he is able to force a draw just because he played around my Dolphin. Good for him, man. I'm now watching if a Crocodile would do any different. 
it obviously won't uh, because that swan is in the back and that croc will just yeah n n bite on stone basically is this a saying in in in, in english it's a it's a saying in german biting on stone is like useless <laughs> doing something useless or trying to do something and it doesn't result in anything is biting on a stone basically <laughs> and yeah that's a pair i really like that but i yeah it's a quite that's quite a question i think i did a mistake here i didn't really changed my order here i probably should have put in more thought on my order because i am probably able to win this with in this round i really don't know what my opponent was doing here i really don't remember but i think my overall strength okay thank you total frog from the past i would i actually wanted to see how the the last fight would uh, was panning out so i actually really needed to uh yeah do something else here probably put rooster dodo in front to uh, to win against that dog because that dog is causing a huge headache here and i think i'm real realizing that that i fucked up again and i probably should have put the rhino in the back and let's see is he has he still the the dog in front and yes he does and that's bad for me basically because that dog is able to eat up all my shit and now he's winning just because of that he also picked up cat and cow is pretty good for him, honestly. That chocolate is really nice because we want our rooster to be, to be, yeah, higher. But now that monkey is really not that good anymore. So that's why I'm selling that. Okay, smart me. There is another dodo. I'm happy to, I'm really happy to pick it up. And now I basically have my rooster in front because now that mammoth is in the front which obviously is designed to die here i don't really like my my mammoth pick that much but i think that mammoth can yeah can do quite a lot that plus two plus two throughout the board is quite nice especially because i really didn't have much money left and this is one of the better alternatives it actually doesn't really do that much though so I'm fine with that. So basically that rooster is more or less in the front because yeah, that mammoth will die instantly. And I think this is this is a better lineup than before. So let's see, is he still running dog in front? Obviously he's not. <laughs> yeah, this is some rock, paper, scissors type of shit. <laughs> but I'm able to, to trade here too. So this is kind of nice. Um, yeah, but this is still a draw was really close and it was i was probably favored to win this but this was really close and i think that's more or less because of the uh, because of the mammoth because that mammoth although it brings in quite a lot it's not doing that much that's that's difficult one i am really unsure what i'm looking for here i'm probably looking for a pill for the mammoth i'm actually looking forward to the chocolate so that's why i'm selling the mammoth just to be able to yeah guarantee my rooster being level two so rooster level two is so so much more valuable than level one mammoth by himself and so i think that was actually the right thing to do here okay and let's see that cat still on the board he has found another cow and I'm almost able to trade against that dog. That dog now is pretty huge, though. So this is, again, a really close draw. And it was actually really, really close. He's so close of dying. I pick up a tiger. And I am picking up a dodo level 2. This is also kind of kind of nice. I'm now thinking of combining that. So that rooster is now always a 50... 5, a 50 attack, 5 HP, and I'll give you like 5 seconds to spot this huge mistake I just did. 5, 4, 3, <laughs> 2, 1. Did you catch it? It's obviously the tiger. Now the Dodo is buffing the tiger and not the rooster anymore. I did that 
because first I'm extremely stupid and dumb, but secondly, because okay, and I'm just realizing that in the game, you can see that with my mouse. <laughs> Uh, because before the ruse, uh, before the dodo nerf, that dodo on level three buffed three guys and didn't have a multiplier. And this was usually the play you were doing back then. If you pick up a, a tiger, put it behind the rooster, so the rooster will spawn one uh, one chick more, right? And yeah, I, that's just stupid, and I am losing this run because of it, I think. Uh, yeah, I am actually losing. And of course, that chili is really potent of his. I have six HP. I can lose one time and have to win the other. So, like, the pressure is rising here. Because I'm doing so many mistakes. I should have closed this match in already like 10 minutes ago I, I feel like not because my opponent is playing bad I think he's actually doing a pretty good job but because I was so lucky in the beginning and I just didn't manage to yeah to to just do it <laughs> I'm having the one of the best shops ever and shooting myself in the foot like without any <laughs> without any hesitation I'm playing way too fast. This is my first problem. In that situation, I always think like, yeah, that's the only thing I can do right here. This is the only logical thing to do. So I'm doing it and I'm not really thinking about it like correctly, you know? Okay, so this cat's still in front. That badger is, I think, a quite nice counter for my for my for my uh, rooster and the fact that his dodo had one hp left after the after the trade was the fact that he was winning this fight so yeah, i'm finding roosters like left and right that rhino by the way i mentioned that a few minutes ago that rhino was such a letdown obviously you are supposed to play rhino with a tiger behind it i know but I didn't have space for it really. I okay, I actually did. But that rhino needs so much work. This rhino needs so much HP to be able to actually do something. This is this sucks, man. <laughs> I'm never playing rhino in this patch anymore. This is so bad. So yeah, that cow and these milks, I am just now realizing these milks are fucking useless for me because the dodo will buff the rooster for a 50 attack anyway, because it's level 3, right? So, what else do I want to use the milk for? So, I'm buying a crab. By the way, okay, let me, let me pause again. Don't do it like I just did. Why, why the fuck am I picking up a crab? I, I really can't explain, and I think I couldn't explain in that situation where I exactly did that. So, I don't know, dude. <laughs> this is... Just don't, don't do it like that. That crab is, actually sucks. That crab won't... Will have quite a lot of HP, alright, yeah, but it will only attack for 3 damage. It's, that's nothing. So, I'm actually selling it again. So, that actually, that snail is pretty pretty good. And I'm thinking, like, what what target do I actually want to have for the milk? And this this is kind of interesting, I think. Picking up the parrot is not the worst thing I could do in this situation. <clears throat> because the skunk actually did quite a lot. The skunk reduced that dog, the dog's uh, HP to, yeah, minus 33%. I don't know by heart what actually that is. But with the parrot now, that dog will actually have quite little hp because that skunk will actually like do it twice basically because the pair is behind it right yeah these milks go on the scorpion just in case he has picked up a weak unit put it in the front so that scorpion can trade two for one just just in case that happens so yeah the dog now has 22 hp this is kind of nice but i'm losing anyway and honestly well played to that dude 
he has he has really <laughs> he has really turned back this game or turned around this game so yeah gg but definitely my bad i should have closed in 20 minutes ago okay so and the second match we actually i actually already joined a match but it was buggy again so we restarted this session now onto the second game that's why we are <laughs> naming this uh this lobby please work yes uh one duck and only we are only going with in with one duck but that's fine i don't care about yeah, i i checked if he's actually in the lobby yeah, I um, don't care about the early game. So yeah, if he actually picked up two ducks, I'm totally fine with that. And how many ducks did he pick up? <laughs> yes, one. Same as me. So there is another duck. We have now two. And there is the third one we can actually don't can buy. This That wasn't a proper English sentence. I'm aware of that. And we are going in with... Two ducks, and my opponent has still one duck. I am feeling very bad for him, man. This is unlucky. In the second shot, and dude, this luck is it's really crazy. And do you remember in the first in the first match, which I overall lost, so in the last video, that one fucking shot where I explained how unlikely that is? Yeah. What the fuck? Why have I deserved that? I don't. I just don't deserve this happening to me. I'm not that kind of good guy who deserves all of this. This is this is extremely unlikely to happen. This is just stupid lucky. Stupid stupidly lucky. Don't know how to pronounce that. Yeah. Um I had never seen stuff like that. This this happening like in two matches within like one and a half hours just way too crazy. And yeah, we'll obviously pick up this win. And that otter will actually hit one of the one of the dodos just to ensure that this escalator will work and i'm thinking of picking up a red because the red has nice stats and i need a target for the dodos so yeah the order needs to be fixed and this is really spooky <laughs> i almost i almost uh, combined the dodos again so i'm <laughs> thinking of a way of uh, ensuring that this won't happen and yeah i managed to do that <laughs> So, what does my opponent play? And he has picked up dog. And yeah, we are again able to pick up this win as well. Bumping down our opponent to 10 HP. Another dodo, I'll gladly take that. Combining it with the last one was a bit iffy. I don't know if that was the right thing to do, but the most likely that last dodo will be the one where I am combining all the others into. So yeah, obviously we pick up an apple to buff the second dodo, so now the escalator is guaranteed to work. That other dodo in the shop is beautiful to see and the better as well. So yeah, this uh, in this turn we didn't change much in our lineup obviously, but the shop and the frozen units in the shop are really, really good. So this is a nice setup for the next round. Okay. Now that escalator is working like beautifully, as you can see, this is really good. We're able to take this one as well. And it's time to get rid of that stupid otter and of that stupid rat. This bison, actually, is really interesting too. I am going to pick that up because I'm pretty sure that I will soon have a level 3 dodo. I just need one additional one. And yeah, I think that's the correct play. But picking up Cupcake here 
is arguably not the correct play because I have three gold left. I don't have anything in the shop which I actually want to pick up. So either it's buying food or rerolling three times. And in my tips and tricks videos, I <laughs> actually uh, taught you guys that you in this situation probably always want to pick up food because that will uh, increase your chances of winning the round. And you are basically living from round to round, right? So, yes. But this is still correct. But in this particular situation, it's actually not because... We are almost guaranteed to win this upcoming turn as well because we are crazy powerful right now. Our opponent wasn't last round and it's almost 100% unlikely that he will able to come back this round. So that's why the cupcake is just fucking useless. <clears throat> and I probably should have re-rolled uh, there. And yeah, so we are able to pick... Uh, this win, we are disgustingly strong. This shop is disgustingly good. I, again, don't deserve that many dodos in my life. Uh, that's just stupid. And don't combine this one. Don't combine this one because that's the stronger one, right? <laughs> that scorpion is really amazing as well. Putting it in the front is hard to decide if that's actually the correct way to do it. But I think so. I think so. And now that Bison is scaling, that, that Dodo is buffing for 1 million damage. I am thinking about going out of Badger here and to go into Hippo. But I don't think, and I still don't think that's that that is smart. Because that Bison, I mean, yeah, that Bison will scale on its own. If you don't touch it, it will be a happy little Bison. But... The bison actually wants to be helped a bit here. So what we actually have to do is focusing a bit on Dodo because 11 damage on the level 3 Dodo. One pair or two pairs on that will actually do quite a lot. And yeah, that bison also wants to have a bit of attention of, of, of me, you know? So I think not picking up Hippo is correct. So, going into the round, let's see if the scorpion will do anything. And, as you can see, he picked up a deer and the scorpion doesn't do that much, honestly. That scorpion is pretty useless. And that deer actually is quite a nice pickup for him. He's able to yeah, defeat me in this matchup the first time. That bison is beautiful. I'll gladly take that. But yeah, it, now it's... Again, he is starting to come back. So I am so happy about seeing that rooster. I'm now thinking, do I really need that other dodo, that weak one? But yeah, I, it's still really good. No questions about that. That pair hopefully will going to will go on the strong dodo next turn. Not this turn because I didn't have enough money for that. Okay, and... We still got the scorpion in the front, which is really stupid. And I am now realizing my mistake because that buzz has so much fucking value for him. So yeah, this is definitely my bad. I should have repositioned that bison. Fortunately, we got a bison and that bison will do quite a lot if we decide to put it in the front. And I am not sure if I actually will do that this round. That bison is now a level two. Now it scales like really well. And I hope I correct my positioning here. I really don't remember. There's another bison, there's another chocolate. I am freezing that chocolate for the rooster. But I think bison 3 is uh, actually not good here. And yeah, that scorpion just cannot be in the front. I thought in that situation. But now it has to, because, yeah, I'm thinking about Bison 3 here, but the positioning is, like, really interesting here, because, let me freeze, let, let me, let me freeze, or let me, uh, let me hit pause here. That deer of his will spawn the bus, and the bus will deal 5 damage to my second position always. So in my second position, I need something which either survives that hit from the bus 
or I just don't care about. And that turkey, I really do care about because that turkey will have like 50 attack, right? That 50 attack is going to get nullified completely by the bus. And I don't I don't want that. So putting the bison in front is beautiful because it, it will be able to trade against the bus by itself and against the whale too. And maybe even against that kangaroo as well. But the second position is really key here. So I mean now go into the shop phase again. So the scorpion in the second slot is just a placeholder basically. I know that the scorpion is going to die here. And I'm totally fine with that. I'm I rather Um I I rather have my scorpion killed than my rooster. So yeah. He basically uh, he also got out of kangaroo here. Picked up turtle which is actually kind of spooky and we are able to draw. <laughs> And yeah, uh, this bison hopefully gets unfrozen here. No, I pick it up actually. Interesting. Well, honestly, honestly, that uh, bison three, that bison is not that, not that big yet. So bison three could be actually not too bad. I'm now thinking about yeah. I I already sold the scorpion, and what unit do I actually want to put in there now? So yeah, a turtle would be awesome, but I don't have a turtle here. And now I do have a turtle here. <laughs> so I am hopefully picking that up. Yep, I do. And that chocolate needs to go on the rooster. Yep, okay. Okay, so does this plan work out? Obviously, no, because he changed up his positioning, which is actually pretty smart. Not gonna lie. But fortunately, that bus didn't do that much damage, and I am able to really closely win this one, and my opponent has one, one HP left. So that Bison 3, obviously, now is, uh, yeah, closing in. And that Melon is also really tasty on that Bison. Or, yeah, I'm thinking of, I could run to... Turtle in front, bison behind that, and melon the rooster. Or I could I could keep it this way. And I obviously <laughs> um yeah, decided to keep it that way. Not sure if that was the right call. And man, these dodos in the shop, this is just ridiculous. And yeah, that's about it. Um I'm yeah, right. Right. I'm now thinking of Placing Dodo in a second position if he actually starts some shenanigans with the bus again My Dodo can eat up that bus hit basically That's not scary at all But the fact that he repositioned here made me reposition myself as well and putting the bison in the back Okay, so yeah these turtles his turtle is just straight up better, but I am really lucky that his turtle is overwriting the chili on the bus. And I think actually this is the sole reason why I am winning this matchup, because of his mistake here. Wait. Here, let me let me hit pause. His turtle, because this is level two, is overwriting chili of the bus. And that chili on the bus is way more, way more important than the melon, of course. Because the melon only denies like 20 attack. And I got this 20 attack just on the rooster. That rooster has uh, 45 damage. So I'm killing that, I'm killing that bus like it hasn't got any melon on it. I think that's the reason why I'm winning this. Let me, let me just do the math real quick. Okay, now I would have, I would have won anyway. I think I'm not too sure, but I think I would have won anyway. But yeah, so it's one-one after two matches, and it's time for the last match of the best of three. And there's one duck. 
<laughs> and there's two. And there's three. Four. Yeah, pretty good start, not gonna lie. And how many have my opponents found? Also two. So we will draw. And we will pick up both of these, obviously. We'll reroll once. Don't find the fifth one, which is fine. We actually don't find a fifth one, no matter how hard we reroll here. And we will draw again, because my opponent has also found the fourth. So, round three. These ducks. I mean, there's a dog. And I'm thinking, like, okay, I don't hit roosters uh, i don't hit dodo so let me let me play dog then but i don't want to sell into into a soul dog only so i'm rerunning more and don't find anything which actually helps out i actually think i skipped over a swan or something but don't care and i probably should have unfrozen the dog here because next turn i have more a chance of hitting a dodo i think Okay, what did my opponent do? Picked up a crab to, I think, to win this one. And I think that's kind of smart. With that, he chipped away 2 HP, which can be... can make a difference. So yeah, I unfreeze the dog. Got one dodo. Let me reroll here. Dog, nah. Okay. Five dogs. We are late into this game. But this is fine. We are again only losing 2 HP if we lose this, which we probably also will. <laughs> so, did my opponent sell all his ducks? Yes, he did. And he has quite he has quite a lineup. But I'm happy to see the red again. Because in the first matchup the red actually lost him his, lost him this game. I'm not sure why I'm actually still rerunning, but I see a camel and I'm thinking like, together with the garlic, that's not too bad. This is kind of greedy though, <laughs> picking up that, <laughs> picking up that dog and selling it again. But yeah, I have enough money to pick up the whole lineup with the garlic here, which is kind of nice. And this is kind of strong, honestly. That camel, so early on turn 5, as an 8-11 with a garlic on top, will definitely receive two triggers. I mean, the, the camel needs to be hurt, right? I think at least two triggers. So, we will see. Yeah, okay, only one trigger because this dog is kind of big. But this is fine. This turtle will actually do a lot. And yeah, I see elephants. And elephants and camels go quite well together. And I'm thinking even about picking up blowfish. Okay, I'm even, do I'm even doing that. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, blowfish obviously is not that good here. Now, I think I'll, I'll sell it in a second. But... Yeah, why not? I mean, that camel buffing the turtle is a bit overkill. And the elephant probably will hurt the camel once. Then the camel will receive at least one trigger, if not two. So, like, three triggers of the camel towards the blowfish can work. So that's why I'm picking that up. So, yeah, like I said, one trigger by the elephant... One trigger by the camel, not two, but only one. Okay, that blowfish actually actually died anyway. And I'm winning again because of the red. Not no, this is this is unfair to say. It's not because of the red, because the red is a 914. But yeah, it's it's hurting him quite a lot. That rooster is absolutely amazing. That dodo too. And that turtle as well. And I got a cow, which I'm definitely going to freeze. So that turtle now has a detrimental role to provide melon to our dodo and rooster. I'm really happy about that. That early level 2 turtle is really good. 
Okay, so that elephant obviously is not made for this. <laughs> the elephant will always die. One camel trigger. Okay, it stays with one. And um, yeah, this is going to hurt, but we will win again because of the dirty red. Not only be not, not not because of dirty red. It always feels like I'm winning because of the dirty red if I do, but it's not really because of that. But it actually helps. I'm not too I'm not too sad about my opponent playing actually red here. That shark is looking kind of nice though, so I'm picking that up. I think yeah. And that monkey is also not too chabby, so that turtle <laughs> is going to grow quite a lot. And that shark, like, is feeding off of uh, yeah one extra chick the turtle spews out later. Yeah, I don't know if the shark is actually warranted here. Okay, so... The turtle is really great. And what especially is great is that my rooster still lives after the dog hit. Which, yeah, okay, this this was pretty, pretty clear that I'm winning this. And he has 3 HP left, so he cannot lose. If he loses, he's down. That pair on the dodo is beautiful. That chocolate on the rooster as well. There's another rooster. So rooster hits level 2 in the next turn. Really good. Okay, and let's see what my opponent did. His dog is actually kind of scary. And his crab as well. So he has quite a nice lineup here. But I am luckily trading well against that. And I am winning here. So yeah. I had a beautiful start again, but it, was, it wasn't that much of a beautiful start, let me pause. <clears throat> that start was a bit weird. We sold the, the ducks so late, actually. But yeah, it kind of worked out. That level 2 turtle like, really was clutch, and an early rooster really helped out. So yeah, GG to Snixer. <laughs> I hope I pronounced that name right. Who, yeah, played very well, I think. And I am in the top 16 and I am playing tomorrow. I'm really looking forward to that. So yeah, thank you guys a lot for watching. This was a long one. And yeah, see you next time. Enjoy my end card. Bye. As always, if you like this video, never tell me or your friends. And also please never share this around. Also, please make sure to not like this video. If you want to see more content like this, definitely don't subscribe to my channel and never check out this video displayed over here. See you in the next video. I'm out.